Hi, I'm Avery. I'm 23 years old and I love the ocean. As someone who has lived along the coastlines all my life and as an avid scuba diver, I've always been drawn to the ocean and inspired by it. Corals, turtles, puffer fish, nudie branches, I love them all. Some of you might have a sense of fear around the ocean, but what scares me the most is seeing marine ecosystems destroyed by us, human beings. I struggle with wetsuits which are dominantly made of polyester, nylon, and neoprene. Wetsuits are not just a fashion statement, but a necessity. It protects bodies from the cold, getting hurt, and enhances mobility underwater. With wear and tear, wetsuits shed plastic microfibers that never fully decompose but remain in the ocean forever. So how can we stop polluting the environment and decarbonize wetsuits? An unexplored waste resource is ghost nets. Ghost nets are discarded plastic fishing nets that get lost or stuck in coral reefs, trapping and suffocating marine life to death. The World Wildlife Fund reported in 2020 that 500,000 to 1 million tons of fishing gear is left in the ocean every year. And recently, in 2022, Richardson et al. published a paper estimating that 2% of fishing gear enters the ocean annually. Although there are ghost net removal initiatives by environmental organizations, they're often sent to landfill instead of being repurposed or recycled. Pulling these challenges together, my solution is to work with organizations that collect ghost nets to recycle them into wetsuits. And in the manufacturing process, add biodegradable additives to make these wetsuits biodegradable. This means when microfibers shed into the ocean, they will break down within two years without leaving any harmful contaminants in the environment. And when the wetsuit is at its end of life and it's not useful anymore, it can be composted instead of thrown away as waste. This technology will cut volumes of textile waste from the ocean and on land. It has the potential to decarbonize the diving gear industry and push for sustainability in the diving community. Like many ocean lovers, I hope for the day I can put on my swimwear with pride, knowing it takes care of my body and our collective planetary health.